welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my hair really quick. I kind of like talk to you guys about my natural hair and the journey. And <laughs> um, it's not really a journey. Honestly, I haven't been like on a hair journey or anything like that. I'm just kind of like gone with the flow here. So, but I'm gonna talk about all, everything about my hair right now. If you click this I button up here in the corner, you will see a link to my most recent hair video where I was showing you guys how I blow dry and straighten my hair on my own. I've also shown me going to the hair salon in another video that will be listed here. And I also have a video prior to that from about two years ago in 2013 where I showed you guys my natural hair in its natural state after I've done a wash and go. So I've shown you guys the transitions of my hair, okay? And a lot of people are new to my channel. So I understand that a lot of you guys don't know about my natural hair and don't really know the story. Little history about me. Um, I am African American, I am full African American. If you are from America and you're black, nine times out of 10 you are mixed with something because during the slave trade in America, you know, 150 years ago, there was some sleeping and creeping going on. So some of our ancestors do have some mixed breed. So if you wanted to know my ancestry, I do have Irish and Native American in my blood. That is the only two other bloodlines that I do know of. My mom's grandmother was Indian and my dad's great, great grandfather or great grandfather, I'm not sure. Um, he was Irish, his name was Landon Isaac. So he was very Irish. My natural curl pattern is a 4A, 3C, 4A curl pattern. If you've seen my mom before, my mom usually always has her hair in a bun, but her hair is like a 3B curl, and my hair is more of a 3C, 4A curl. If you don't know what kind of curl patterns I'm talking about, I'll try and insert a picture or something so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Frequently asked questions. Yes, I am natural. This is natural hair. It has just been straightened, but it is natural hair. I have never had a perm in my life. And the reason why my hair is always straight and you guys never really see it natural is because I've been wearing my hair straight for a long time. I stopped wearing my hair in its natural curly state when I turned, I believe 12 or 13. My mom started letting me do my hair myself because I hated when she used to put in those pigtails. I was too old for that. And I was like, I need to learn how to do my hair myself. So she started taking me to a salon to get my hair heat trained so what the lady did was she old-fashioned heat trained my hair meaning she um, straightened my hair with a hot comb and some grease or some oil or whatever she used to get it straight so my hair would be straight but if you washed it it would revert back to curly and it took it some time okay it didn't happen overnight so I think my hair had to be straightened um, routinely every I think I went like every three weeks, every two, three weeks, I would go get my hair straightened professionally. Um, and that was the only heat that I put on my hair. Of course, I, when I was 13, I didn't own a flat iron. I didn't own a hot comb or anything like that. So I wasn't doing my hair myself at all. I would go get it straightened. I would wrap it up at night. That's pretty much it. Um, and my hair was growing. It was long. It was, well, my hair was already long, but it continued to be Long. You know, heat training it did not damage it. It didn't cause any breakage. It didn't cause anything like that. I stopped going to that lady. I forgot why. It wasn't like something crazy, like she cut too much or anything. It was just ghetto. So I ended up going to another lady to get my hair done. I actually wash it, deep condition it, blow dry it, flat iron it. Um, and I did that all through high school. My senior year in high school, I got my first haircut. Um, it wasn't anything major, it was just some layers. I had some bangs cut, then I had my hair cut kind of like right here. It was like a medium length cut. And then when I went to college, my freshman year of college is when I started playing around with different stuff. So I got my hair colored for the first time. When I got my hair done the first time, it was platinum. She put a brown color on top of the platinum, so it was like a blonde color. From what I can remember, I dyed my hair again around 2012. I had my hair dyed to an almost blonde. I tried to go blonde, but the lady wouldn't let me. She was scared. After going really light brown, my hair was fried because I had dyed it 
maybe three or four times within a two year period. That was actually when I started doing YouTube. So at that point I decided, okay, I need to give my hair a break. So the whole summer I went natural. I got a natural sew-in and put some naturally curly princess hair shop hair in my head and naturally let it hang out like that. And then after having the princess hair shop hair and took that out, I had Senegalese twists. The whole summer, I did not straighten my hair at all and it helped my hair grow tremendously. And from then on, I started taking care of my hair a lot better. So that was the natural journey that I went on, but I've always been natural. So it's not really a journey. It's just more or less me taking care of my hair better. I dyed my hair black because I was tired of the color and I was tired of damaging my hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go black and weave it up and just do weave for a while. So that's when I started wearing wigs more often. If you've been following me that long, you know my hair was black. And then I got married and I was like, you know what? I wanna be funky. I want something cool. I wanna be, you know, I don't know, sophisticated. My hair was about bra strap length. So it was like way down here. And then I was like, you know what? Chop it off. So when I moved, I found me a good hairstylist that I could trust and had him cut it off. So I cut my hair and it was a bob. It was about this length actually. It was actually, no, it was this length. The front wasn't like this. My The front of my hair was like long on one side and then it was a little shorter on the other. So, and that was my favorite haircut that I've ever had in my life. It was liberating. It was the best thing that I've ever done in my life. You guys know that I kept my bob the same for a little while from March until about April. So I wanted to go lighter. I attempted to go blonde again because I had cut off all the dead stuff and everything. So it was basically a head full of virgin hair. I decided I wanted to go blonde. So we got some highlights going. Um, I did highlights once, then we did it again uh, about a month later. And then about a month later, we did the highlights again. And it was almost blonde, so I was cool with it. Somewhere in between there, I started taking hair affinity. I took it for like a month and then it was getting too long and I was like, I don't want it long, so then I cut it. That's why I stopped taking hair affinity, guys. I didn't stop taking hair affinity because it was bad. I stopped taking it because my hair was growing too fast. My hair grows fast anyway, but it was growing too fast for my liking and I wanted shorter hair, so it was like, there's no point in me taking a hair growth supplement if my hair is not gonna be growing, I'm gonna keep cutting it. Then I was like, you know what? I wanna change it up again. So then I went back black, blue black actually, the darkest black there is. I went back blue black and I had a pixie kind of cut. It was black, it was funky, you know, I was feeling myself. I really wanted to go shorter, but I don't know, I was just, I was scared and it was, it was liberating cutting my hair, but it was also scary because I was like, how far am I gonna go before I end up like bald? The back of my hair, it was growing too fast and it was sticking up and it was just, it was just weird. I didn't like it, didn't like the shape anymore. It wasn't doing what I wanted to do. I started letting it grow a little bit. I stopped getting it cut. I decided I didn't want the blue black anymore. He stripped my hair of the blue black. I didn't do it myself. Like I've been saying before, I've never been doing my hair myself. And around October is when I decided that I wanted to go a little bit lighter and do a red burgundy color. So we took the blue black out and when we took it out, it made my hair like a red color. My hair, we lifted my hair to like a red color and then put the burgundy on top. That started fading out. And so now it's like this weird iridescent brown red color. Like sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's burgundy. This is whatever is lingering and what's left and whatever is left of that you know, blonde hair mixed with the red, mixed with the blue, black. I don't even know what's going on, but this is the result of me coloring my hair. How many times have you colored it? Have y'all been counting? Five or six times in the past year. So that is why my hair is straight in the front and scraggly and the curl pattern is pretty much gone in the front because the front of my hair has been colored so many times the curls just don't even know where to go anymore. So the back of my hair is still curly though, but the front, you don't know what it's doing. So that is why there is damage. And I keep trying to tell people that it's not heat damage. My hair is not heat damage. Now, when I tell you guys I'm heat trained, that means that my hair is used to being straight. So it doesn't revert as fast. And as a matter of fact, when I used to be in high school and I would run track, my hair was heat trained to the point where I could run outside in 100 degree weather and I would be perfectly fine, like my hair would not revert back. So now my edges would get a little puffy, but that's about it. What has damaged my curl pattern time and time again is me being extra with the color. So color is what damages my hair, not heat. I do not heat damage my hair. Putting heat on your hair will not damage your hair if you are natural. Putting heat on your hair will not damage it unless you are putting heat, excessive heat on your hair very frequently. 
I never straighten my hair more than once a week. That is the honest to goodness truth. I will not put heat on my hair more than once a week. I get my hair done every two weeks, okay? So I don't put any heat on it other than straightening it every two weeks. It doesn't look damaged when it's straightened. It looks healthy. And that is because we keep the ends trimmed and we keep the heat off of it when it's necessary. The curl pattern is damaged, but my hair is healthy. Other frequently asked questions about my hair, am I taking anything to help it grow? No. Um, I haven't been taking Hair Affinity. Um, I don't take biotin. I don't take any of that stuff. I try to eat healthy foods when I can, I try. And as you can see, my hair has grown, I guess this is like a length check. My hair has grown back to its original bob length from that pixie cut that I got from September until now, this is how long my hair has gotten. And am I gonna keep letting it grow? Probably. I don't know when I'll stop letting it grow, but I know that I want like a full bob, like a full one. For those who are wondering why I don't wear my hair in its curly state, I don't like it in its curly state. I like the way it looks when it's straight. I like my haircut, you know, so I like to rock it the way that it looks in the haircut. I specifically got this haircut because I wanted a straight bob all the time. And plus it's easier for me to manage. I'm really lazy. I hate buying hair products. I hate waking up and having to put stuff on my hair. I hate washing my hair. I hate touching it. I don't like touching it. So keeping it straight just makes it so much easier on me. I will list everything that I use on my hair on a regular basis in the description box. But like I said, I don't do my hair myself at home. If I do do it though, I'll list what products I use for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay.